Florida's gone, totally. Uh, a thousand miles inland from the coast is going to be at least washed clean, and I mean absolutely clean. There's going to be no sand. It'll be right down to the coral. Um, you know, it, 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 <laughs> these people these people have decided that they are superior to all other forces of nature, and in in that sort of thing with the type of conquest, uh, in terms of the plan that I'm familiar with. Uh, not only was all this intentional, but uh, there's other things coming. Um, as an example, Katrina and all of the fun and games with that, imagine uh, the, uh, New Orleans maybe had a population total 9 mil. Well, we're talking 20, double. We're talking 40 million people going somewhere. Uh, you ain't going to be able to feed them or give them water. It ain't going to happen. Uh you're going to have uh, lots of dead bodies on the road. You're going to have, you know, uh, total anarchy. Um, the I'll lay out the plan, uh, Griff, and uh, that I've come across. Uh, it's old, but um, it goes right down the line as to exactly what I'm talking about. Now, one of the things I'd like to express too is that the scalar technology is uh, getting kind of antique. What they've found out how to do is to use vortex technology in what's called a wide beam in order to project the energy of a scalar. In other words, uh, sort of a humongous kind of a ray gun sort of deal. Uh, and there's several of those floating around up over your head. So if they want to pop something, all they got to do is uh, click enter on a computer keyboard and zap whatever it is uh it can be a tsunami it can be uh earthquakes it can be an internal uh combustion type of thing where it looks like you had a lava dome uh come up and just cook a big area um hundreds of these things uh so you you're into it you're into a whole bunch of um sciences and a whole bunch of applications people are not aware of. Now, they're just short of being able to project uh, things like atomic energy in terms of an explosion. Um, the guy that was just on with the uh, uh, Department of Defense mentioned a whole bunch of things. Well, uh, the technologies have changed tremendously because of some reverse engineering and a few other things. Uh, a lot of the stuff is not valid anymore. Uh, a good sized suitcase can contain uh tremendous amounts of uh capabilities so anyway that's you know just information drake uh, you, you know uh, the uh, the man that was on just a little while ago the people are uh still contemplating their navel and trying to decide if the trails in the sky are coming out of the engine or or what a contrail is you know, they haven't they haven't gone beyond that <laughs> okay, well, you can uh, tell a con uh, a, a contrail. I know is... but that was that was, uh, that was over ten years ago. That's right. Yeah. That, that's ten years ago. We shouldn't even okay, be well, talking about a contrail. <laughs> we should be talking about digging well, holes and, and getting underground. That too, but the thing is that contrails have changed exponentially similarly to the technology. You have to remember that uh, they're not going to quit playing and experimenting around now. <laughs> Uh, I have noticed that they have learned how to cause what's what's called static compression. We had a storm today that was primarily that. Now, static compression is caused directly by a certain pattern uh, of, of uh, chemtrails of a certain type. Just that simple. Well, it's and what you're talking about is an awful lot going on in the atmosphere. Well, you're talking about a magnetic storm, not a normal storm. Big difference. So, you know, well, it's nevertheless, really, we should be concentrating on storing food. Exactly. Yeah, I've got the uh, several hundred pounds. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and and uh, you're Joe, are we running right. out of time? You're absolutely, yeah, we've okay. got about five minutes left. And uh, thank you for your call, by all means. I mean, that's some, some great information to, uh, to, um, to have and, and definitely utilize. And, Griff, uh, you know, like I said, we got five minutes to go. Preparation is most certainly the key, um, you know, your food, water, and shelter, of course. But um, 
also, you know, it's like like he was saying, the uh, you know underwear, boots, uh, clothes. You're not going to be unless you can spin yarn, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But but also, um, um, is there anything else that you can think of that that people should be doing right now to uh, to prepare for a potential uh, devastating situation? Keep an open mind. Try to absorb as much as you can uh, things that are going on. Um, question everything. Stock food, clothing, shoes, all of that. Uh, have a water source. Berkey filters are nice. Uh, one afternoon we need to talk about water. It's quite a science. There's a whole lot to water. The most important thing is to keep your pH up. Keep it clean. Mm-hmm full of minerals, but keep the pH up. If the pH goes down uh, into acid, uh, you can get sick. The water will look fine, but the uh, pH is, is all important on it. Two ways to alter pH. Uh, the electro, uh, electrolysis is the best way. Um, can't think of anything else. Just stocking food and uh, clothing is a full-time job and getting ready. I, I personally think our time is approaching. Um, I think this event coming up in November is going to be a, a Lulu, I believe. Uh, Joe, I would like to mention uh, a lady down in New Orleans. Uh, By all Sue, means, go ahead. Sue, uh, best wishes to Sue down there. Sue is ready to move out of Louisiana and uh, go to higher ground, and we uh, we certainly wish her the best and thank her for, for being our friend. And I, I think, Griff, you, you struck a chord when you said, keep an open mind and always ask questions. You know, there's no such thing, I don't care what anybody says, there's no such thing as a stupid question. The only stupid question that's out there is the one that isn't asked. And it's up, it's up to us uh, as a community, uh, as a network of individuals who are trying to figure things out and, and put two and two together to put our families, uh, our loved ones in the best position that they can to survive, uh, you cannot, it, you'd be derelict if you didn't ask questions, if you didn't consider every possible alternative. So by all means, folks, don't get discouraged when you hear, uh, uh, you know, it's just another conspiracy. Did you find it on the Internet? Blah, 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 blah. If you're black sheep in your family, don't. Don't, don't be swayed by it. Continue to think outside the box because you have to if you're going to be able to figure things out and position yourself in a situation where you can survive. And uh, with two minutes left, do you have any closing comments, Griff? No, it's uh, it's always a pleasure to be with you, uh, uh, Joe and John. Uh, uh, I thoroughly enjoy this. Time goes very fast when I. It, it most certainly program. does. Yeah. And we'll have you back real soon for sure because uh, uh, I too feel that time is short. And there is um, there's a lot to talk about. There's a yes, lot to talk we, about. We'll never run out of things to talk about. That's for sure. Well, folks, we're out of time. Um, I'm Joe Joseph. This is Bridging the Gap. Thank you, uh, AC Griffith, for coming on tonight and uh, and helping uh, helping all of us out here try to try to figure things out. We will uh, we'll be back very soon uh, this Sunday night. Uh, at 8 o'clock Eastern is our next show. I encourage everybody to tune in because, uh, like I said, we don't know how much longer we're going to be able to do this, and it's a matter of uh, networking, uh, coming together as a community, and figuring things out and and preparing ourselves and our families. So with that said, uh, good night all, uh, God bless, and uh, good luck. <laughs>